your Duchess of Nutrition. I am here to you today to talk to you about measurements. Measurements are an important part of our journey here at MFF. It's a way of us telling what kind of progress you're making. Of course, we have the scale, and of course, we have your clothes, knowing how they're fitting you, if they're tight or looser. But another important aspect are actual measurements with a tape measure. So today, we're gonna be taking three basic measurements using this handy dandy tape measure your waist, your hip slash butt, depending on what the widest point is, and if you're feeling so inclined, maybe your thighs. If you want to get more specific and do your biceps, your neck, I don't know, maybe there's a certain area you want to focus on, feel free to measure that. There ain't no rules. So we realized that this is new for some ninjas and they've never had to measure themselves. So we're going to go over the basics of how to measure yourself and how to use the handy dandy tape measure correctly and appropriately in order to get the most accurate measurements possible. Broken. Here is your handy dandy tape measure. Let's talk about how we use it. It should be facing with the red dot up. Then we'll grab the red stick. We pull the red stick and the tape measure will go around whatever part of the body we are measuring. We insert the stick into the hole. Perfect fit. And then of course, we wanna make it nice and tight. So we push the red button so we get a nice, accurate reading. Mr. Fisher, please locate your belly button. Fantastic. Now, with a tape measure with the dot facing up in your palm, let's grab the red stick and pull it. Beautiful. Now let's put the tape measure around your stomach, inserting the stick into the hole. Now let's press the red dot so we can make sure the tape measure gets nice and tight. Wonderful. Now before we write down that number, he's going to look in the mirror to make sure that it's nice and even in the front and all the way around the back. It's parallel completely to the ground. In a perfect world, this will be done first thing in the morning before you've eaten breakfast in your underwear. The next measurement we're gonna be talking about are your hips slash butt, depending on what the widest point on your body is. If you're wearing a tuto, you should probably remove it. So next, handy dandy measuring tape, red button up, pull the red stick. For me, my widest point is my butt, not my hips. Insert the stick into the hole, take a look in the mirror and make sure it's even all the way around. Press the red button, nice accurate reading. A couple of helpful pointers. If we notice with the red dot up, if we look at the outside of the measuring tape, it starts with a number two. That's the side that we want out. The two's in here, and you see the three. The reason for that is it accounts for the two inches that are right here. I'm sure there's a sexual joke in there somewhere, just not sure what it is. So let's recap everything that we learned today. When we take measurements, it should be first thing in the morning, before we've eaten, and after we've gone to the bathroom. Hopefully you're naked. And if you're not naked, your undies would probably be best. Do it in front of a mirror. When you're doing your waist, make sure it's right at your belly button. If it's your hips or your butt, make sure you're going for the widest point. It just depends on your body type. We also wanna make sure that we do this a few days in a row in order to make sure that we get a nice, accurate measurement. So do it about three days and then take the average of the measurements that you get for your waist and your hips. Of course, depending on your journey, if you want to get more specific and take more measurements, feel free. You do you, Ninja. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this super helpful. Of course, if you want more knowledge bombs, check out MFF TV. Mark, what are you doing? That's...